Hello. Good morning, all of you. Uh, I'm going to present one puzzling situation. So try to understand it first, and then we have to solve that problem. We have to find out the answer to that problem. But for that, you have to ask me questions, and I will answer in just yes or no. So accordingly, you have to frame your questions. All right? Is it clear? Yeah. Sure. Should I tell you that puzzling situation? OK. You all know that in France, there is Eiffel Tower. You know that, isn't it? OK. So one of my friends visited Eiffel Tower. As a student, he wanted to study all the features of that Eiffel Tower. Now, I will just draw. My drawing is not good, but Eiffel Tower somewhat looks like this. OK. Now that friend, his name was Ashish, but we'll, in short, we will say A. So A came and told me that height of Eiffel Tower is 300 meters. So I got that information. I was happy to know that information. Some days passed, and another friend of mine, Bina, let's call her B. She also went on study tour. She also went to Paris and visited Eiffel Tower. After coming back, we were talking, and she told me that she studied, and the height of Eiffel Tower is 300 meters and 12 centimeters. Now, this is the same structure. Both of them had visited the same place. And there is discrepancy. So I was very puzzled. So you have to ask me questions, and we will solve this problem. Why did it happen? All of you have to ask me questions, of course, one by one. I'm going to record that on the board. and. I will give answer in yes or no. That also we will record. Okay. So who will be the opening batsman? You? Okay. Tell me. Was Valentin wrong? Good question. We will make note down. But my answer is no. Yes? Has it got to do something with the time of the day? OK, we will record the question. Yes? Any other question? From this side? Is it related to the shadow of the tower? Is it related to the shadow? OK, let me first record this. Uh, OK, can you just elaborate this question? Because I didn't understand what you really want to ask. So did they measure the shadow or did they measure the actual uh, tower? So your uh, question really is, did they measure the shadow? So should I reframe the question? No. 
no who else wants to ask yes just ask me one did they measure themselves did they measure themselves They had gone for study tour. Who else? Has it got to do something with expansion of metals? Yes. Now she has got the point, I think. So, can you just elaborate what is in your mind? Metals expand on heating. Mm -hmm. So, maybe uh, that is the reason there is a difference in the uh, measures of the height. Mm -hmm. And when will be the such huge difference in the height? Uh, maybe B, now, uh, B must have uh, gone for on a visit in the afternoon. And uh, I know it has got to do something with uh, yes expansion. That is very correct, but not just daytime and nighttime, but anything else. Yes, Janus. Did B visit in summer and A must have visited in winter? Yes, very correct. So, now we have got somewhat explanation, but now I will explain you what is the actual phen phenomenon. This Eiffel Tower is made up of rotten iron. The principle, scientific principle behind this is all metals expand, but there is specific measurement of that expansion. So, if we take 100 meter long uh, plate of rotten iron and if there is increase of 1 degree Celsius in the temperature in atmosphere, then there is increase of 1 millimeter. Should I jot it down? Okay. For 100 meter long iron, I will just write it in short, for 100 meter long iron, rotten iron with 1 degree Celsius increase, there is 1 millimeter increase, 1 millimeter expansion. Now the original height is 300 meters. So if there is difference of 1 degree Celsius, then what will be the expansion? 3 millimeters, yes, very correct, 3 millimeters. So, in summer, the temperature rises up to 40 degree Celsius and in winter, it goes down till 0 degree Celsius. So, what is the difference between the two? Yes, Niyati? Yes, very correct, it is 40 degree Celsius. Now we have seen that for uh, 1 degree Celsius, the expansion will be 1 millimeter and now Niyati is saying that there is temperature difference of 40 degree Celsius. So what will be the total count of expansion in these two seasons? Yes, Swati? Yes, very correct, 120 millimeters. 
So, 120 millimeters means how many centimeters? 12 centimeters. Yes, it comes to 12 centimeters for 300 meter long uh, or 300 meter heighted Eiffel Tower. Yes. So, now you have solved the problem. Very good. Congratulations all of you. Thank you. Yes. But now, because you are learning to make inquiry, so let us see the questions which were more fruitful, what were the different hypotheses, because when in future you will use this inquiry, you should be more specific, is not it? So let us see the questions one by one. Was one of them wrong? Who asked this question? You asked, okay, Gunjan asked. So, what was in your mind when you asked this question? Simply I wanted to uh, decide either one of them. Hmm. But the first question is one is wrong, naturally the other will be right. Okay. So, one specific object cannot have two different heights and that was in your mind. So, you just thought that somebody must be lying. Okay. But I had mentioned both of them had gone for study tour. Okay. So, this particular question was not very fruitful. Okay. Anyway, then there was second question. Is it something to do with time of day? Who asked this question? Yes, you asked. Huh. So, what was in your mind? I knew that the difference in the measures of the height had something to do with the day. Okay. Because so, uh, I thought uh, there is something to do with metals. Hmm. Since you had already given us a situation about the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, I know. So, there is definitely difference in temperature within daytime and night time. But sometimes it is not two extremes and that is why this particular question she had used right hypothesis, but you should have gone beyond that. But your hypothesis in your mind was very correct. So, it was clue giving question we can say. Okay. Then somebody asked me did they measure the shadow? Who asked that question? Yes, Sanchali asked me that question. As she had mentioned the time of the day, so shadow is the next thing which I related to the time of the day, that is why I asked that question. But do you know that suppose I take shadow of this particular scale in the daytime, it will be maybe suppose here and in the evening the shadows are very long, but they are proportionate to the original object, is not it? So, uh, that particular question did not have much potential, but of course, you could guess that okay, you just related because it was uh, the answer was yes to the earlier question, must be something related to that, that was in your mind, good. Now, there was another question from Swati I think, did they measure themselves? So, what was in your mind when you asked this question? Uh, I was thinking uh, that if A would have measured himself, there would be probability that he would have uh, find mistake and he would have and he would have referred any all the records which are already there, so it might be, uh, it might be accurate if she referred to any record which are already there. Mm -hmm. So, you thought that one actually measured uh, and there was some mistake and another got proper record of the height and that is why there may be the difference. Yes, this is also possibility and that is why uh, this was another hypothesis in her mind. But then uh, I gave you answer, yes, then the whole hypothesis have to be discarded. Then there was question, is it related to expansion of metals? Hmm? And I think, yes.
case you had asked that question. So what was in your mind? I was sure if it has got to something in the day and then when the next question was did they measure shadow, it was no. So I said let me ask the next question, is it related to expansion of metals? So maybe we, we could get a further answer. Yes. So she had right hypothesis in her mind and she wanted to check accept or reject that hypothesis by asking question. Very good. And then there were questions from genus. They were dependent on the answer of the first question. Yes, genus. With the reference uh, with the above question which Shalini answered, which Shalini gave with the expansion, it was easier. We have learned in science uh, metal contract or uh, metals expand on heating. So I asked the question for someone. And they contract or cooling, so maybe when B has B, A has B in winter, it must have pulled up. Yes, very correct. So now just we will label these questions. Don't feel that I have asked these questions, and only thing is now this is group property. So don't take it personally. We will just mark certain questions as fruitful, productive questions, which lead to the solution of the problem, right? and some are irrelevant. So now you only categorize and tell me which questions of these were productive questions. Mark the first question, has it something to do with the time and day? Okay. So we will mark with star, hmm? yeah. And then which was other question? Uh, then did they measure themselves? All right. Uh, the cell, next question is: Is it re related to expansion of metals? These three questions were testing really the hypothesis because the first question gave you idea that okay, it is something related to the temperature difference. Secondly, did they measure themselves? Yes, both of them. So again, you made it sure by asking question that it was not just information heard from others, but they really studied it. And the third one was very, very fruitful because it was leading to the real solution of the problem that is temperature difference due to yeah expansion okay so thank you so much thank you